Right. Here's the final. If you, if you missed it yesterday, you missed a heck of a stream. We had an incredible time. Uh, but we uh, we came up just short, uh, not only in our push to win the league outright, but in our push to win in the playoffs. Um, rather heartbreakingly, we won more matches than any other team in the league. We won 27 of the 46 matches we played. We just suffered too many defeats. Uh, we also scored the second most goals in the, in the league. We scored 77. And in the playoff final, we lost 1-0. So that hurts. But we have an opportunity to build our team. And that is all we ask for. We have the opportunity to rebuild our team. Our first opportunity to kind of get our hands the whole process. We can get rid of Joe Bud, free up some wage. Free up as much wage as we possibly can and then go after uh go after some players that can change our lives all right our end of season recap moments to remember well we actually got to the first round proper the fa cup which is a big accomplishment we won all three matches away in order to get there so great work by us in the fa cup and the fa trophy we got to the quarterfinal and lost to bromley which that works big win a way to wreck some of the round of 16 which is the moment to remember goal of the season are you kidding me it was uh it was max thompson and the loss to chelmsford city that could have won us the league yeah i prefer not to relive that but hey we made money augustus mcgiff was the top selling shirt chat what do you think of that that surprises me Needed a couple of sneak. Yeah, we needed to eke out some draws. We lost 13 games, and we were right there to win it. FM23 worth buying? Not right now. Wait until they patch the match engine, because if they do, it absolutely is. Everybody already had their McCooty shirts. Oh, true. Yeah, sorry. They'd already they'd already bought the Nick McCooty jersey, so they were they needed to get the Augustus McGiff jersey. So McCooty, 35 goals, 10 assists. Big time player. Jake Wannell, highest average rating, most passes completed per 90, and most player of the match awards. Thompson had the goal of the season. James Matthews was the young player of the season. Uh, most overall. Oh, we just shattered like every record of the club. I don't think they had the records in the game, to be honest. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's our manager timeline thing. Giant killers. Huge upset against Wrexham. This will be fun for really into the, like, really far into the future, but honestly, right now, it didn't really matter. Uh, finish mid table in the National League. So, wait, hold on. I've attached a report to highlight the changes to the club's supporter profile for next season. Now they expect a mid table finish. Play direct, play counter attacking, get the battle of rivals, Tiverton, if that ever comes our way. Of course, we will. We hate Tiverton. Yes, we do. We hate Tiverton. How about you? This is the tactic I want, right, right here. I call it the 7-3. That's the tactic we're gonna play. So the tactic looks like a peacock. What exact? Oh, cause they like, and then these are like the, the feathers. Okay, well, we're gonna name this tactic the peacock, obviously. I, I kind of see it. Okay. I kind of see it. Sure. Augustus McGiff needs to be playing with better players. Oh, good. Um, $500 is too much. Okay, Augustus. Augustus McGuff is good as gone. He's not only raised his issues with the training facilities, he's raised his issues with various, various things. Amari Brown is on the way out the door. Zach Smith pins his deal. Fulston, Ling, Waddle. Lee Lucas signed a two-year deal. I didn't realize anybody could ask for a two-year deal. Amari Brown has opted to stay and turn down the other offers. Jacob Shepard's getting an offer in. There he goes. Everybody, say goodbye to Leroy James. A cult hero, Leroy James, has retired from the game at the age of 35. It was the right time. We probably weren't bringing him back. Uh, Ross Stern's contract expired, but he's decided to stay. Same with Dan Ball. I freaking knew it. 
Lloyd Irish, I thought you were retiring. Are you not retiring? You were definitely retiring. Our backup goalkeeper, absolute catastrophe of a goalkeeper. No offense, Lloyd. You have better hair than I do, and there's no debate on that. Dylan Morgan, you are getting paid way too much to be here. Where Dan Ball and Ross Stern aren't necessarily doing that. Ollie Chamberlain is left. James Clark and Augustus McGiff's contracts expire in a month. Absolutely no interest in signing for us, which is unfortunate because I was so happy those guys were on the team. George Burroughs is in. I like George Burroughs. 20-year-old Scottish center back, George Burroughs. Part of our winning team, Malachi Reeve. I'm repurposing our central defenders. I didn't think the ones we had last year were good enough, and so we're signing new ones. Except for Wannell. Wannell stays. We're signing guys that are toweringly tall. Not stupid, not unathletic, toweringly tall. Because I think we got exposed a lot in this league by guys that were tall. Jacob Shepard signed with Gateshead. Harry Palmer of the Ketterminster Harriers, formerly of Maidenhead, Sutton, Billerike, Yeovil, Ebsfleet, Canvey Island, Hornchurch, Brightling Sea, Dorking, Herringy, Lewis, Braintree, and Haybridge. Our new goalkeeper, Harry Palmer. Thank you, Harry Palmer. Harrison Knee for free. Yes, sir. Coventry City's Harrison Knee finds a new home at Taunton Town. Thank you to Dan Ball. We appreciate it, Dan. Uh, he did play, I don't know how many games, 38 games for us last year. Uh, I'm going to miss you, Dan. He was a good player, but it was time, and that frees up a little more wage room for us. We do have a ton of wage room. That's why we're able to move. Uh, we have signed Kianole Ngapizi, a well-rounded right-sided defender who is going to be able to play as a wide center back because of his high standard of technical ability, which essentially turns him into Messi at this level. I mean, seriously, I'm pretty sure half my strikers don't have eight technique, 13 passing, and nine first touch, right? Like, this dude is essentially a midfielder playing center back, and I'm really excited about Kianole and Gapizi. Now, he does have a an improved training facilities promise, but we also just signed a guy from West Brom, so... Kianole and Gapizi, welcome, welcome to the team. Josh Hallard, left-sided attacking fullback from AFC Wimbledon. Then a full-time contract that's less than some of my part-time contracts. Riddle me that. No, oh, 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 okay. They would require no money in order to loan him out at squad player as long as he plays wing back on the left which we are essentially planning on doing anyways look at the the size and the speed and the agility okay. nobody has that at this level and he doesn't have like threes at every mental attribute which you would expect in order to cancel that out this dude Woo, Cam! I am about it, Cam! God help me! We can afford him. Oh, heaven have mercy on all of us. How in the world is Cam Condola about to be a part of the Town Town Peacocks? Oh yeah, 120,000 a year. Cam Condola, oh, he is a star! Baby, he's a star. He plays right in the middle of our back three. Waddle's on the left. That guy we just signed from West Brom's on the right. And our defense is mint. Chat, I'm telling you, it is mint. We aren't going after Francis Amarty. Uh, oh. Rest in peace, chat. A man that inspired a generation of center backs. Kai Knight is signed a deal to play at Leamington.
The original tower on the back line, Kai Knight. See you later, Kai. Josh Hallard, a completely free loan signing at left back for the season. That is what I'm talking about. There he is, Josh Hallard, totally free all year. Don't know how we've managed to swing that, but we have. Fits our fits exactly what we're trying to do so perfectly. Oh, so you guys are saying it's Leamington, not Lemington. That sounds sounds good. Right back, Marcel Elva Fontaine has signed the contract. Oh, we beat we beat out teams for his signature. No! No! Shamrock Rovers squad is much stronger than ours. That makes me so sad. They were the only other team to come in with an offer. It was the Shamrock freaking Rovers from just off the top rope. What do you guys think of this guy? I love him. He has no real holes in his game, which is very rare at this level. He can move pretty well. He can pass pretty well. He's not bad at defense. He's not stupid. I think Rob Evans is the type of guy that fits into our team really well and can be special for us. All right, Rob. Get in the bin, Rob Evans. Hey! I have no idea what that noise was, but Harvey Bradbury, get in the bin. He's good. He has no serious holes in his game. He's not a terrible passer, right? The strength and, and jumping range to be able to hold the ball up. And once he gets going, he's not that slow either. The work rate to work hard and put himself in position. I, he's going to be a cold hero. I can tell. So Alfie Sanders doesn't want any money to step into our team. He is balanced. Hashtag no hate. For a guy that can play both positions at the right side. I have no issue with bringing Alfie Sanders in on a non-contract. 11,000 a year for Jake Evans. Another incredibly solid player. We're just getting players we didn't have last year. Guys that don't have huge holes in their game. They can contribute in multiple ways to the team. He can play right back. He can play center mid. He can step it back further. Like, mm -mm 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 -mm. you know what I'm saying? Harvey Bradbury. Harvey Bradbury. Get in. Augustus McGiff and James Clark have left the team. Henry Landers wants a star player contract, but he's all, no, no. I know the answer to this. It's no, he's not bad. I wouldn't dislike having him on the team, but no. Goodbye. Yeah, okay. Uh, goodbye to Augustus McGiff. We know we're a little salty that he decided he wanted to leave, but a hearty goodbye to Augustus McGiff. Definitely a, a really important part of this club and building us up as one of the best teams in this division. So Harvey Bradbury is in. Could be a fair replacement for Augustus McGift. <laughs> you think, brother? What do you mean you don't want money, Nelson you won? We were trying to <laughs> we were trying to pay for you a second ago, dude. And you were too expensive. Oh, yes. Oh, two other teams in our league, and that's it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir -y. I will give you exactly what you want. I'm not going to change it. I'm literally going to make the offer better. Cameron Antwi, you are crucial to this team. You are the guy I've been waiting for the entire stream. I'm literally going to make his offer better. Do not even, do not tease. Don't tempt me with a good time right now. Cameron Ansley. Holy smokes. Dude, he is such an athlete. And he, he can hit, he can hit a pass. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Boom. Cameron 
against we? An outrageous midfielder at this level. He has no business being here. That is a monster get for this team. That guy could be with us for a while. This guy could totally be with us for a while. Um, there's no way to work on his composure, which is the reason he dropped down to us. As that's final third, and he's not going to want to do that. So we'll work on strength. Should be stronger. We've got Luciano Daria Henry. Take that, world. We snuck one through. Luciano Daria Henry is a freaking beast. Big ballers only in this team. He can fly. He can actually pass. He can, he, he can influence the game going forward. High technical level from Luciano Daria Henry. What? Oh, that went exactly the opposite that I thought would happen. Oh my goodness, we just stole Nico Lawrence from Forest Green Rovers, Stockport County, Worthing. We just got our last center back. Nico Lawrence is here and ready to play. Wow, okay. And then Rodriguez, the left wing back we thought we were getting in, is not in. Casey Pettit we knew was already going somewhere. Jaden, Ye oh my goodness, Jaden Young just left. He just took a contract offer at Redditch. Redditch decided to pay him. He just moved down in leagues.